ग्रीटिंग्स एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रिया शिणोय असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऍट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी सी के ठाकूर ए सी एस कॉलेज न्यू पनवील टुडे वी विल बी कन्सिडरिंग अ टॉपिक बेसिक टॉपिक इन लिनक्स सिस्टम ऍडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दॅट इज कमांड लाईन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ इट फर्स्ट लेट्स सी वॉट डू वी मीन बाय शेल से वॉट एव्हर कमांड्स वी आर गिव्हिंग टू द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम कर्नल दोज कमांड्स नीड्स टू बी एक्झिक्युटेड बाय द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम अँड फॉर दॅट पर्पज वी नीड अॅन इंटरफेस बिटवीन द कर्नल अँड द युजर हु इज एंड युजर हु इज गिव्हिंग दोज कमांड्स सो फॉर दिस शेल नाव इन इफ वी विल कन्सिडर रेड हॅट एंटरप्राईज लिनक्स दॅन इन आर एच ई एल बॅश इज द डिफॉल्ट शेल सो बॅश स्टँड्स फॉर बॉर्न अगेन शेल इट इज द डिफॉल्ट शेल इन आर एच ई एल ऑर रेड हॅट एंटरप्राईज लिनक्स सिस्टीम्स नाव देर आर सम आदर शेल्स दॅट आर अवेलेबल ॲज वेल सो सम ऑफ दोज शेल्स विच आर देअर अलॉंग विथ बॅश आर झेड एस एच एस ए एस एच अँड टी सी एस एच सो लेट्स कन्सिडर दोज थ्री शेल्स जस्ट इन ब्रीफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल झेड एस एच it stands for uh, or it is compatible with bash as well but it provides certain more features than bash then the another shell is sash which stands for stand alone shell another shell is tcsh it works similar to your or it provides many features like your c programming language now here basically we will be considering the bash shell as bash is the default shell in linux so uh, for example the commands that are used on a linux terminal are the ls command which is used to display all the files in a given directory and the tab key it is used to auto complete your file names and the shell variables now let's consider some of the useful bash key sequences what we can say as the shortcuts so first is control c now control c is used to pause or to quit a command that is responding many a time it happens that a particular command is taking lot of time to complete and in that case we can't continue or we can't uh, resume with our another task so if i want to quit or to terminate a particular command that is not responding we can use the shortcut key control c then the another uh, command or another shortcut key is control plus d control plus d is used to send end of file signal to a particular command now there are many commands in linux in which case we want to uh, give input to the command itself in which case prompt will not be displayed to us so to turn give end of file signal to tell to the kernel that yes i want to stop giving input continue with the next command for that purpose we can use the shortcut key control d then the third shortcut key is control r control r is used for reverse search which means that whatever commands you have previously given those commands can be uh, again taken for execution by using either the up arrow key or the down arrow key so all your commands are remembered by the bash history and those commands can be retrieved back by using control r then remaining three shortcut sequences are control z control a and control b so control z it is basically used to stop a particular command now here remember control c is used to quit the command that was not responding and control z is used merely to pause your command so that paused command it can be sent to the background by using the bg command or or it can again be brought to the foreground by using the fg command then the next shortcut sequence is control a control a is basically used to bring your cursor to the uh, beginning of your terminal of your current command line and control b is used to bring your cursor to the end of the command line now after considering the shortcut keys 
let's consider some of the commands that are used for working with directories now here we have the cd pwd and mkdir as the main commands cd is used to change the current working directory pwd is used to print our current working directory and mkdir is used to create a new directory now with mkdir command we can use the hyphen p option if i want to create an entire directory structure in a single command then these are some of the commands that are used basic commands that are used to work with files so here we have the ls command that is used to list all the files in your current working directory if the ls command is given directly without any option then it will list the files in your current working directory moreover if you have passed a parameter to the ls command then it will display the files in the directory that you have specified as the parameter after that we have the rm command which is used to remove the files or to delete the files now here we have to ensure that when we delete a particular directory by using the rmdir command first that directory must be empty and it can be done by deleting all the files in the directory by using the rm command then the next command is cp command which is used to copy the files now remember for cp command we require two arguments or two parameters we can say first will be the source and second will be the destination all so here we can consider the cp command as cp source and next is your destination after that next we have the mv command mv command is similar to your cp command only we can consider in our language we can say cp is something similar to copy paste and mv is similar to cut paste so the files will be directly moved from the source to the destination the way the mv command is executed is, is also similar it will require two parameters first parameter will be the source and second parameter will be the destination so overall till here we have considered three commands related to the directories and four basic commands that are used related to the files now after considering the basic commands related to the directories and the files next we are considering some of the basic commands that are related to viewing the contents of your text files on a linux machine please remember all these commands are required if you want to learn the basics of linux system administration so here uh, after this we will be considering the commands that are required or the skills that are required to learn linux system administration so let's continue with the commands uh, see here now here you can remember the commands pair wise first two are cat and tag so here if we will if i'll give the command cat file name dot txt then in this case the contents of my file fn will be displayed on the terminal itself after that another similar command is tag tag is similar to cat the only difference is cat will display the contents as they are whereas tag command will display the contents in reverse manner so tag will go in top to bottom manner whereas cat will display the contents as they are next pair of commands that you can remember are head and tail so here see head is used to display first 10 lines from a particular file now if you are working with a certain particular file that is having large number of contents in that case you can select how many lines you want to display so by default if i will use the command head and file name dot txt then in this case first 10 lines from my file fn will be displayed here we can pass the hyphen n command as well in which case i can select how many lines i want to display so for example if i'll give the command head hyphen n 5 and the file name then in this case only first 5 lines from the file fn 
will be displayed on the terminal. Similarly, tail is used to display the last lines. The option is same. The use of the command is same. Only thing is, it will consider the lines from the end of the file. The next two commands are more and less. Now we are just with the now we discussed head and tail commands will be displaying the contents on the terminal itself. So now if the contents or even your tag and the cat, uh, tag, uh, cat command. So if your contents are excessive, if they are not fitting on the terminal, then in that case you may want to use the page up or the page down features or you may want to use the search feature within your contents so that is not possible using the about to commands so for that we have the more and the less commands so if we are using more or less then in these two commands the uh, contents will not be displayed on the terminal but rather the contents will be displayed in another window where you can use the page up, page down or the search feature. The parameter that I need to pass will be same. So if I use more, now let's consider sample, more sample.txt. Then in this case, the contents itself will be displayed. But instead of displaying the contents on the terminal, the contents will be opened in a new window where the user can use all the features. Now, let's consider the uh, command used to create an empty file. So, now your touch command is used to create an empty file. This is basically required if I want to create a zero byte file. So, that the last access time or the last access date and time uh, cannot be modified or it will be displayed on the terminal. Uh, now, uh, these were the basic things that we need to discuss or we need to know before learning Linux system administration. So some of the uh, next topic that we are going to study is piping and redirection. Just I'll tell you in short, piping is used to send the result of one command to another command as in this case. And redirection is used to send the output of a particular command to a file. Okay. So, uh, here we can see the example. These topics we will be covering in the next lecture. So, let's stop here for today. Thank you.